Hi, this is Jesse Liberty for Telerik. Today we're going to look at RAD Window and creating standard dialogues using RAD Window. We begin by creating a new project. Let's call that RAD Windows Standard Dialog. Silverlight 5 application and we will add a reference to navigation and all its dependent references. Once again, we're not going to instantiate this declaratively in the XAML, but rather go over to the C sharp. We'll create a helper method, create dialogues. Inside create dialogues, we're going to create our first standard dialog, which is an alert dialog. We just pass in a string. We say rad window dot alert. Notice it's static and we pass in the string we want to have displayed. Let's run that. And you can see that brings up an alert dialog complete with an icon and an OK button. Our second type of standard dialog requires the use of dialog parameters. We're going to instantiate an object of type dialog parameters and set the content property of the parameters to what we want to be the content of our dialog. We're going to use this in a confirm dialog so we can say rad window confirm and pass in our instance of dialog parameters. Run the application and you can see the dialog with the content that we placed into the parameters. Let's comment that out and add a third type of standard dialog which is the prompt. Once again, we're going to create an instance of dialog parameters, set the content to whatever we want to use to prompt the user, and this time call prompt as a static method call on rad window, passing in the parameters. With prompt, as we'll see when we run it, we not only get the content, but we also get a text box that the user can fill in information for us to retrieve later. I hope you've seen how very easy it is to create these standard dialog boxes in using RAD Window. For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. I look forward to talking with you again very soon.